One of the things that struck me, I was one of the people that bought some artwork from you guys during the Save the Dial right. House right. auction. Yeah, yeah. And I remember there was one piece of art that you had up, and yeah. I think it was going for something like 3000 which yeah. I, as a starting, and that, yeah. I couldn't afford that. Yeah. But based on my memory of that piece that was on the website, mm. and mm. looking at the 62 Renaissance drawings, yeah. Yeah. I see a lot of similarities between your style in those examples and let's say the first version of the Acts of Love artwork that G put together that I saw in her first book. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like yeah. there were a lot of geometrical shapes yeah, and yeah. things and one of the things I was curious about is whether you two were, were playing on that, I guess you could call it a theme or a landscape for an artistic piece or whether you were acting as kind of an art director for the Acts of Love? No, not at all. No, Acts of Love <coughs> was you know, very, very much G's own sensing. As far as I recall, it must have been the early 70s, because I seem to remember G took Acts of Love, the drawn version of it, you know, when we didn't even think of putting any recording. She was going to do a box with the 50 pages in it, so it would be like a you know, boxed album, but actually it only had artwork in it and the lyrics. Uh, her idea being people could sing them themselves sort of thing.